A long interview with uh, Andrei uh, Koboliev, who is the CEO of Naftagas. And, of course, I asked him, started, started off in the conversation, uh, about the dispute uh, and whether he thought that actually Naftagas gas uh, should be paying more up front uh, or whether actually the, the gas just hadn't been supplied from the Russians as well. Let's just listen into the conversation. Had there been a situation when the prepayment of Russian gas would equal zero, the gas would have been switched off immediately. And that was mentioned by both Mr. Miller and Mr. Putin so many times. That was their public position, uh, which is in line with the contact. That's why uh, for the whole winter season, we always kept certain amount of prepaid gas at the volume we felt appropriate. How do you find the negotiations with Mr. Miller? Is it just normal business relations between two companies, Navtagas and Gazprom, or do you believe there is a political bias to it? I believe there is definitely a much uh, wider agenda than just gas and business. And it's not only about our negotiations. If you look at many European gas importers uh, who were cut by 30 or 40 percent in their deliveries by Gazprom, uh, since September, and we can judge about this because we can see a uh, rapid decrease in transit volume, which have not been replaced by other flows of gas. Uh, you can assess what is going on. Uh, Gazprom is trying to cut gas supply to EU to make sure that Ukraine will not be able to source enough gas from that market. It's quite a costly strategy. It's very inefficient because there are always other suppliers who would be willing to replace gas from gas. And that's actually what is going on at the moment. And at the end of the day, it destroys the reputation of Gazprom as a reliable supplier of gas to EU. Because when you cut your customer and you don't explain, that's something which probably will not do any good for your relationship. However, it is being done, and we don't see any commercial explanation to that. Had I I believe any person would be managing any gas supplier. He would try to keep market share, make business profitable and uh, long-term predictable. But it's not the case with Gazprom. Do you see an immediate threat to gas suppliers from Russia to Ukraine? Do you believe the taps will be turned off? Honestly, we don't know. We don't know what they will do uh, from the beginning of March, because for us, the breach of Brussels agreement where Gazprom clearly guaranteed not only to us and firstly is most importantly not to us but to EU that they will follow the agreement was breached. When a counterparty is breaching something you can expect anything from them.